Good morning, everyone. Uh, as you heard, my name is Mitchell Davis. I'm the police chief in the village of Hazelcrest, uh, and I'm, I'm affected in a few different ways as far as this funding is concerned. I'm the current president of the Illinois Association of Chiefs of Police. I'm also the chair of the Illinois Law Enforcement Training and Standards Board, and I also sit on the state board for Fight Crime Investing Kids. And uh, there's one word that can uh, describe why we're here today and the blessing that we've just received as far as funding. That's collaboration. The collaborative effort started with the development of the Safety Act. Let me make it clear to you that the Illinois Association of Chiefs of Police is not against the Safety Act. Why are we not against the Safety Act? Because we have put countless hours in collaborating with elected officials. The Safety Act was passed last year, and law enforcement has some concerns that we, we understand that uh, the purpose of the Safety Act was about accountability to law enforcement and equitable policing in all communities. And when the Safety Act initially came out, we had some concerns that we wanted to make sure that public safety was not sacrificed in the process. And through collaboration, we keep coming back to that word, collaboration. We sat down and we worked with our elected officials and other stakeholders, and we were able to have two trailer bills. And we still have ongoing discussions about things to make sure, to ensure that public safety is not being compromised. So that collaboration has been a tremendous part of this whole process. And it is because of that that the Illinois Chiefs is not in opposition of the Safety Act. Now, one thing that we've said throughout this entire uh, collaborative effort uh, to our legislators is, you know, we can have all the great legislation in the world, we can have all the great ideas in the world, but if we don't have the funding to implement it, it's going to be all for naught. Well, collaboration happened again, and our elected officials stepped forward, and as we already heard the reps say, they put their money where their mouth is, literally, and have given us the funding so that not just equitable and accounting, accountable policing can happen, but that departments like Hazelcrest, who don't have the resources that a Chicago or another large municipality might have, can provide the same services to our citizens that everyone else can. So this is just such an important thing, and it's important for our officers, it's important for our communities all across the state of Illinois, and it's, once again, it's been such a blessing, and we all will benefit for the better from this happening. Thank you so much.